Welcome to Bible Reflections, where we've been reflecting through the Bible, uh, taking past, uh, verses, statements in the Bible, and reflecting on uh, what that means for us throughout the week. And we're still in Genesis chapter 1. And have you ever thought about verse 28? And there are a couple other verses in there as well. Uh, verse 26 refers to this. I think verse 29, you know, those towards the end of chapter 1, it mentions to that we are to have dominion over God's creation or to rule over it, uh, depending on your translation. We're supposed to be exercising some form of leadership towards God's creation, which includes all of nature, the, the, the forest, the trees, the mountains, the water, uh, bodies of water, the... I don't know if he means the planets and, and the, the universe beyond Earth. I, I think he was referring specifically to Earth. The animals, the plant life, all of that stuff. Uh, and I don't know about humanity, but maybe humanity in there as well. We're supposed to rule or have dominion over God's creation. The question is, what does that mean? Now, you can go on either side of the fence and emphasize that side of the coin you could emphasize that maybe it's referring to the idea that there's a lot of value and benefit in god's creation and we are to work god's creation manage god's creation in a way that we're able to derive the most value from it and to provide the most amount of benefit to others and to ourselves you could look at the other side of the coin that maybe we are to be caretakers and to be tender and respectful towards creation to make sure that we're bringing good uh, where there is evil or, or where there is things that are falling apart and we're to bring correction and strength and improvement uh, to tend to God's creation, to be respectful towards God's creation. I tend to think that it's both. We're to derive value from God's creation for our benefit, and we're to be respectful and to uh, promote the health of God's creation. But regardless of whether you sit on one side of the coin or the other, or you take my view that both is in play here, what we need to do is be reflecting throughout our week and really throughout our lives on what does it mean to rule over or have dominion over God's creation. So when I am out and about in nature, what am I supposed to be doing? When I encounter animals, when I encounter a need, when I encounter an animal in need, uh, a plant in need, when I encounter a person in need, when I encounter God's creation, what does it mean that I'm supposed to have dominion over, to rule over, to subdue God's creation? Am I being a good steward of God's creation in whatever perspective that is? Again, that's between you and God on the workout, what the exact meaning of that is. But are we being good stewards of God's creation? Uh, let's keep that in mind throughout this week. Please comment on this video. Uh, if you have any questions or, or ideas or con uh, comments regarding what we were thinking about. And I want to encourage you, if you would, please share this video with others. Uh, the more you share, comment, like, follow, subscribe, uh, the, the more this video gets out. So if you're watching us on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe so you get notifications every time we add, add a new video. Please make, make note of our playlist section to see all the different videos that we have available. If you're on Facebook, please uh, like and follow our page. We would greatly appreciate that. Uh, hope that you continue throughout this week to learn to dis or discover what it means to have dominion over God's creation. God bless you.